What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. I almost said X. <laughs> okay, so in our last episode, yes, we managed to get our fourth badge right here in the Kalos region, and now it is finally time for us to move on into the next stage of this whole walkthrough. And, uh, well, let's see, if you talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, so those egg like things that are found in uh, PokeCare, uh, let's see, strictly speaking, they are not eggs, but they're more like Pokemon Cradle. Ah, you don't say. So, let's see what we got right here. Of course, we haven't visited anything, and... Well, there's people talking about kings and queens and all that stuff, leftovers and all that shoots. But, I think it's time for us to just move on, because, well, we got more important things to, to worry about. I don't know what it is, but we're trying to figure it out. So, it's like, gotta get it, gotta get it! What's the name of my song? Give it a listen. Well, then, uh, sit back and get a cup of tea or something relax. This kind of sounds like the Pokemon black and white thing. Huh. Okay, so she's talking about... Yeah, she's talking about the Unova region, so it really isn't any of our... Yeah, it really isn't anything uh, of our importance right here. So we're going to be getting a message from the Hollow Clip, and that is... We're getting a message from Lissandre himself. He's like, Professor Sycamore told me you can now wield Mega Evolution. That is truly wonderful. With that power, you can steer your future in a better direction. We can't just cover it up with the... Uh, we just can't cover it up old filth and new filth. I implore you to consider what we need to do to change the world into a new, beautiful world. Ha. Huh. Okay. So, that right there is a... Uh, I couldn't tell you anything. I really, I couldn't tell you anything because that guy... To me, he seems a little sinister. Very, very sinister. I don't even know. I do not know, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so let's go into the next direction right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we are. And if you talk to this person, I need to get to Lumioi City, but the gate is closed due to a power outage. How could a power outage happen anyway? I mean, the Kalos power plant is right right there on Route 13, which we are going to be going to. And uh, did you know any Pokemon can change their ability? Okay, yes, we can. We do know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, continue on right here. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And uh, before we do anything, these two people are like, <laughs> just kidding, trainer. We weren't uh, waiting for you. We were just on our way to the power plant at Professor Sycamore's request. But the gate connecting to Lumioi City at to Route 13 has been shut by a mysterious power outage. We have to investigate. Hey, so there's Central Kalos and Ka uh, Coastal Kalos, right? Can you tell me what comes next? I'm not. Uh, I'm just going to give you the answer. It's Mountain Kalos. So I'm going to take this opportunity to power up your Pokedex yet again, and well, there it is. We got the Mountain Kalos Pokedex added to our Pokedex right here. And uh, yeah, we are going to be able to find some pretty uh, some pretty cool Pokemon. Because uh, Route 13 is a very, very, very tough area. As you guys can see, winds are blowing this way. Pokemon are digging their way. It is going to be a hard time to try and uh, maneuver yourself, especially in skates. And, uh, well, if you're going towards the left side right there, yeah, you're going to be finding some stuff right here in this direction. Here we found ourselves a smooth rock. This right here, I believe, will uh, enable, what was it, Sandstorm to last a little bit longer. Now, Pokemon, Pokemon are going to be moving left and right right here. They're going to be digging themselves out. And some of these Pokemon are Diglett, Dugtrios... Shoot. They might have arena traps and everything, so we're going to be trying to get out of here because we do not want any of that smoke. Okay, so let's see. We go right here. This pad is locked, and, uh, well, this is the power plant. Now, the gusts are hitting us from all directions right here. And it's going to be difficult for us to move, maneuver ourselves until the gusts go away, and, uh... As you guys can see, it's blowing straight towards our direction. It's going to make it hard for us to go towards this pipe right here. So, what we're going to do is go right here. Get attacked by Pokemon. And I think... Yeah, I don't think Repels are going to get... Are going to help us out right here. So, here we are taking on a Trap Itch. And... This guy does not have Arena Trap. So, that right there is going to help us out just a little bit. Okay, so... Let us move on right here. That was a shortcut towards, towards this place. And 
here we have another area which you know it's it's it needs to be unlocked now i think one of the biggest biggest mistakes that you know nintendo did or i don't even know yes we're going to be finding ourselves a fire stone but like i was saying one of the biggest mistakes was not giving more coverage to this area right here because you can only enter one door and I don't know if we go through... I don't know if we go through this whole area right here. But it, it was a big mistake for Nintendo not to, you know, fully cover this whole thing. So hopefully by a remake, a future remake of Pokemon X and Y, you'll see, you know, full coverage of this whole place. And as you guys can see, there is an item right there. We're going to be grabbing ourselves a flame plate. And we're going to be going right here. And no, we're not really grabbing anything right now. So let's go right ahead and continue our adventure. This wind is just killing me right now. As you guys can see, we're going slow. And if we try to use a bike, it's even harder because it's blowing straight towards our direction. Okay, so here we are taking on a trap itch, and this guy is, uh, this guy is just another Pokemon that, you know, I, I could use for my team. I have used in the long run, but we're going to be capturing him later on, and, uh, well, let's get off our bike right here. We don't really need it, or better yet, just run, and as you guys can see, if you, if you go towards the road section right here, these Pokemon will not attack you. Well, I was wrong, I guess. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are taking on a friggin' Doug Trio. So let's get the heck out of here. And yes, this guy does not have Arena Trap, so that right there is pretty good. And, uh, well, let's see. We're not going to find anything right there, so let's go ahead and read this. Trainer tips! Electric-type Pokemon are immune to paralysis, which is true. And, well, let's see. The wind has steered the other way. So that will enable us to go towards this section right here. And, well, as you guys can see, these Pokemon are just like, they're vicious when it comes to trying to get you. So this one will get us to towards this portion right here. And you are going to be needing a Pokemon with rocks. God dang it! You're going to be needing a Pokemon with Rock Smash in order to get through that section right there. So let's go ahead and try it again. And not get not get hit by any of these Pokemon right here. So here we go. Crap. Okay, so. Try it again. Get a little bit of speed. Mother lover. Okay. Try it again. Try it again. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we're not really getting any speed right here, guys. Balls! Okay, so, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're simply going to get attacked by these guys. Now, another Pokemon you can find in this area is a Gibble. I would recommend it. I would recommend capturing it because, you know, it does evolve into a pretty darn good Pokemon later on. And, uh, well, the first Pokemon to have Arena Trap on us, we're just going to eliminate it. And uh, there you go. Okay, so that is that. And we're going to be moving straight. There we go. We got a little speed. And there you go. Okay, so we're going to get off our skates and not move too quickly on this. So as like I said before, guys, we're going to need a Pokemon with Rock Smash. And thankfully, in this generation, Rock Smash is not a an HM. So we can teach it to a Pokemon, to any Pokemon, and then erase it. So let's see. Let's go right ahead. And, uh, where's the Rock Smash? Huh. Where's Rock Smash? Rock Smash, Rock Smash. Could have sworn I had Rock Smash here. There we go. Okay, so let's give Rock Smash to a Pokemon right here. Hmm. Huh. You know what? Let's go ahead and give it to Nacho. And, uh, we'll replace... We'll, we'll obviously get a new, a new uh, move. Uh... Okay, so let's go ahead and take away Sword Stance for the time being. I do have the TM for Sword Stance, so it's not much of a loss right now. So there we go. And let's go right ahead and start Rock Smashing some stuff. Okay, so there we go. We found ourselves a Big Pearl. That will actually 
come in handy when we need to like sell some stuff and then uh, there we go burn heal and uh, well, let's see now get back on our skates right here gonna go towards this section and find ourselves a pp up that right there will actually help us out too and uh let's see grab this and bam rock smash for the win and yes we're gonna get attacked by a pokemon no less and shoot here we are taking on a graveler and uh well we're just gonna run away because we do not need to get attacked by uh, by any other pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and move on and uh, let's see what else can we find i do not know actually we can't find something right here there you go we found ourselves a hyper potion and well let's see what else have we found nothing else just a scientist and we're gonna grab uh we need to get on our bike for this part right here guys so just make sure to have a bike and there we go found ourselves the tm57 charge beam which if you guys remember watching some of my walkthroughs yes charge beam increases your special attack every single time you use it so it could come in handy it's not much of a of a it's not much of a of a of a powerful move, but with the increase of special attack, it will help it. It will help you out throughout the throughout the uh, remainder of your battle. Now, if you go right here, those Team Flare pep, uh, people in those red suits, nobody who's worth anything hangs out with a group wearing gar garish outfits like that. Wow. Now, if you go walk right here, you're gonna be able to find yourself something. That's if we can actually find it. And there we go. We found ourselves a power plant pass. And, well, let's see. Nothing else. There is a team a team Flair member. He's like, I'm a, I'm a member of the, t the stylish team Flair. And I'm going to win his style. Ha. Huh. Okay. So, here we go. Taking on team Flair. And we're going to be going up against a Hound Doom right here. Alrighty. Let's go, Star Fox. And uh, I just realized something. Yeah, Star Fox can't do nothing because, yeah, we're taking on a dark type Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Nacho Libre himself. And, well, let's see what we got right here. Nacho, how's it going? Here comes a beat up attack. Not that great. And, uh, yeah, again, not that great. Beat up is not working. So, Nacho, let's go with a flying press attack right here. And bam, that is how you do it right there. Nacho Libre kicking some butt, taking some names. And Star Fox grows to level 42 and is learning Flamethrower. This is going to come in handy. This is more of a special attack. So let's go ahead and take away Mystical Fire. And just like that, we now have Flamethrower. And uh, well, let's see. Here comes a Golbat. So this Pokemon will lose against Nova. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's get this. Okay, alrighty. Let's go with a parabolic charge right here. And... Huh. Well, that actually heals us up just a little bit right there. So I think what, should, what we should do is use Thunder Wave on this Pokemon because... You know, things like that. <laughs> Gotta love it. You have to love it. And, uh, well, we are confused. Thank you. Okay. Come on, let's go. Thunder Wave, work for me. Here comes an air cutter attack. Not so effective, but still, it's gonna hurt us. And we snapped out of the confusion right there. So let's go, Thunder Wave. It is now slower than us. And, well, you are now paralyzed, my friend, so... Let's go ahead and start with the Parabolic Charge. And just like that, bam. We're getting some of our HP back. This is good. This is great. Oh, yeah. You got to love Swift. Never misses. So here we go. One more time. Parabolic Charge for the win. And there you go. You got to love that. Oh, yeah. 
Although, Golbat is a very, uh, very reliable Pokemon. <laughs> It's still kicking my butt right here. So here we are victorious against a Team Flare member. And, uh, well, that right there will lead us to this. Now, if you've already found the pass key, he will actually let you know where it's at. And now I'll still I stylishly run away. Huh. Where's my power pass? How in the world do you have a power plant pass? Aha! I'll make a stylish deduction. You picked up the power, uh, power plant pass. I dropped when I was checking out that big boulder. And that's worse. You plan on going to the power plant, don't you? Yes, I do. In the next episode. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the power plant, and we're going to be taking care of business in there because, yeah, we, we there, there's a blackout. There's something. The world's on fire. I do not know. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going into the power plant. Thank you guys again for being patient. As always, I'll be right back with you guys. See you guys.